What it do, YouTube? So, just got out of bed. I was up for a while just browsing the internet, watching YouTube videos, so now I'm about to make this coffee. Um, once I went, once I transitioned to a French press, I literally don't drink coffee any other way at home. So right today I'm drinking Willie's Dark Roast um, CBD coffee. So it has 250 milligrams of CBD in each um, serving. And then it says that it's um, bold and deep with hints of graham cracker, chocolate, and spice. I'm not a chocolate, chocolatey kind of gal. I really like chocolate. But whenever coffee says that it has um, hints of chocolate, I usually don't mind it because it's not like sweet in any way or it's not like too noticeable, you know? Um, but I just realized that this was dark roast. For some reason, I thought it was medium roast. So I made it kind of strong. So that's going to be fun. It's okay. I have somewhere to go. Some things to do. Um, I'm going to go fix these horrible nails. Get out of the house. You know. I'm gonna do them before um, they close nail salons again because whenever we were quarantined and everything was absolutely closed, couldn't go to a nail salon or anything. I sound like a spoiled brat, but I was sick at the way my nails looked. I don't bite my nails or anything. I don't, like they're not ugly. I don't have ugly cuticles. I just like to, maintain them i don't get acrylics i don't get anything like that i just like them to be well maintained i don't spend a lot of money on them but i do them regularly because i'm not the type of girl to you know i don't wax my eyebrows i don't color cut my hair all the time literally never do um if i do i do it myself um yeah, so I don't really do like expensive girly things. Like the most expensive girly thing that I do is probably a wax, a, like body wax, Brazilian wax. And that's once a month. So it's not that big of a deal. I did recently um, get my eyelashes done. Um, so now, yeah, I'm gonna have that, but other than that, um, I hope the lighting is okay because for me it's bomb to do my makeup like this is my setup I'll show you from over here This is my setup. This is my desk. So this is like the office area but um, I'm just set up my makeup stuff for now because um, I Want to do my makeup sitting down my restroom you know, doesn't really have that much counter space, but the natural light is really good in here. I can set you on the table and do my makeup at the same time. So here we are. I don't know if I want you on this side or this side. So this mirror that I'm using, I want to show you guys. It's really cool. It's Hello Kitty. Um, it does light up. These little, these little heart lights light up LED really, really bright for when you do your makeup. But I didn't charge it, so and I don't need it, so it's okay. Um. But yeah, I, uh, it's Impressions Vanity. I don't know if they still have it on their website, but I will tag them. I don't know how YouTube works. Tag, link. I hear people say, I'll link it below, but I'm on mobile, so I don't know if I can do that. I can try. Oh, so good. Okay. So my dog and my cat are playing and they play really rough and well. Hey, can you guys get out? Look, I'll show you, you guys. Look at <laughs> That's Hunter, the Bengal, and this is Cassius. Cassius, the Jack Russell, little puppy. <laughs> okay, Hunter, I'm gonna kick you out, okay? Get out. 
let me kick Hunter out. Or actually, I don't want to kick them out. I feel so bad. They want to be in here with me, but they're going to be rough. You just can't play rough, okay? Don't play loud. Okay. Still does it. Hey, no. My cat talks a lot, so. They can't just play quietly. My cat has to scream at him. So, uh, this is the moisturizer I just started using. So, for the longest time, I used um, Ula Henriksen um, Vitamin C Moisture. It was orange. Smells really, really good. I used that for like pff, a year and a half. I used Ula Henriksen Face Wash. I used Ula Henriksen Toner. Exfoliator, everything, and I had the moisturizer. I used the eye cream. Literally, I had the whole line because I loved it. But um, just recently, I feel like my I just needed to switch it up. I hadn't used. I've been using it for so long, and uh, so I switched it up because I finished my moisturizer, and I remembered that I had this sample. Um, I had a sample of this moisturizer one time that I took when I traveled to uh, Maui last summer. And I had the sample and I, when I was in Maui, I was like either it's the air here, the water here, all of the above, but this moisturizer is bomb. So I just ordered a new one because I wanted to switch up. So I ordered this and it's huge, it's so much. And I love the way it comes out. So it comes out like this. So you don't have to like scoop it out. But anyways, um, so anyways, when it came in and I put it on for the first time, it was exactly how I remember it feeling in Hawaii. It's just, I don't know why, it just feels so soft. It makes my skin feel so soft. I get so happy to put it on because it feels so good. Um... I haven't been wearing, I haven't been putting on um, SPF moisturizer. I usually do when I'm going to be outside. Um, for a while, I was using Kiehl's um, Super Facial SPF moisturizer. Ran out of that, so I ordered, um, I just saw everybody posting it. Um, and it was cheaper than the Kiehl's one, so I got it. But it was like invisible Super goop sunscreen. I don't know. I'll link it below, I guess, or tag it below or in the description box. But I haven't tried it yet, so I'm waiting. To, I'm always inside, so I haven't been wearing SPF. So, anyways, um, so yeah, that's the new moisturizer. I'm currently. Woo! It's so good. It makes my skin feel so soft. Oh, that coffee is like amazingly good. I'm trying to adjust this to where I'm. You're kind of close, but not too close, and the lighting is okay. I think that's okay. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hey, you want to come up here? Come on. He wants to lay on my lap. So you have to lay down, though. Okay. So. Right now, let's see. I'm gonna put on some uh, uh, primer. So right now, um, I'm gonna be uh -uh. I'm gonna be using um, Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Do not recommend. I I don't hate it. I won't say I hate it because I use it. Like it doesn't break me out or anything. Um, just doesn't do anything like it doesn't I'm literally putting nothing on my skin it does nothing for the price I don't know why I splurged and got this I just fell into the hype and it was the first it's the first and only Tatcha thing I've ever purchased and I hate it so now I'm like discouraged to buy anything from Tatcha because I'm like it's so freaking expensive and then for what like I don't even like the result so anyways, we're going to go in with, um, oh, I'm sorry, um, Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Drugstore Foundation Bomb. Oh, I wear 225 uh, right now. I'm pale. Um, 
I have like a darker shade for whenever I am like super tan. I accidentally poured a lot on my hand, but it's okay. It's okay. So I just wanted to like start vlogging and I've been kind of lonely the past few days. So I haven't really like been talking about things on my mind. So I want to start, you know, just turning on the camera and talking about things. Kind of like journaling, because I don't know if anyone is ever going to see this. But, oh no, did I? I forgot my brush. <laughs> Be right back. Sorry, Cash, I have to go get my brush. Did I forget it? Definitely did. Get down, Cash. Okay, so yeah, anyways, I wanted to just like come on here and just kind of journal, like video journal. I guess what, that's what vlogging is, right? Like, if you think about it, I don't know. I feel like the lighting is so much better in front of me than, oh shit, yeah, that's not gonna work. Whatever. Okay, so, um, anyways, that's what vlogging is, huh? Like, vlogging is just vlogging, but with a video. Anyways, so, I don't know. I've just been seeing a lot of stuff about, I mean, ever since this coronavirus dropped. <laughs> um, now we in the deluxe version, because it's the second wave. Um, I just... Just been, I've had doubts, you know, I have doubts about, uh, you know, what's really, what, what, what's the tea, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, there's always a bunch of, there's obviously a bunch of theories out there and stuff that I read and I get like super deep into that stuff, but I'm not going to get into it right now. I mean, I just wanted to talk about because I was on, um, I got on Twitter earlier and I saw that someone posted that Dr. Fauci uh, threw out the first pitch last night. I can't remember for what team, Nationals? I don't know. Um, he threw out the first pitch for one of the baseball games, first of all. It was horrible. <laughs> I don't know why I get secondhand cringe, like secondhand embarrassment for people when they throw first pitches out and it's really bad. I don't know if you've ever seen like I don't know, I saw like Jay-Z throw a really bad one. I just see their form and I'm just like, oh, I'm so sorry. But um, Dr. Fauci, um, yeah, so he threw out the first pitch and I think that's okay. And first of all, it was really bad. And then second of all, someone took a picture of him sitting in the stands next to two people, not social distancing, one right next to each other. And not what he has his mask pulled down and the people next to him have their masks on But he doesn't he has his like pulled down and he's texting on his phone And I'm just like <laughs> Isn't this the guy yelling at us that we're not listening to like the mask mandates and For us to listen to the science and that this isn't gonna go away for another two years because you know blah 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 I'm just like sir that just makes me more skeptical you know you know we're out here doing this 
theorizing, thinking the government lies to us because, you know, you guys have. And now you're kind of just feeding, I don't know, putting fuel to the fire, I guess. No, Hunter. So... Right now, I'm just gonna like lightly, I do like a cream contour. Um, I've had this cream contour forever. I took it out of its palette. Chestnut, it's, um, what's her name? Jeffree Star hates her. Kat Von D, Kat Von D. <laughs> um, I've literally had it forever and I use this like Walmart, I got, literally got it at Walmart, um, or Target or something. It doesn't have any label, but it's like super dense, domey. Because my face is really small, and so like I put it right here, and then I just, you know, blend out. That looks really bad right now, but it blends out super easily. This uh, cream contour, which I really like. I'll probably re be repurchasing it, because I um, found out that she dropped these, like, single. Because I had it in, in the Shade and Light Cream Contour Palette, but I didn't use any other um, things in the palette. I just took this one out. And then she dropped that. Literally, that was years ago. I've had this thing, this little thing for years. Years. Like, I want to say like four years now. No, it's been like three. For sure, three years. I don't like, I'm not like too precise with my uh, contour. I just kind of blend it out. So I have like a little shadow there. I don't like to go... Crazy. I just like to look bronzed. Kind of use it more like a bronzer, like a more like controlled bronzer than a contour. And then I put a little bit. I don't like, I don't need to contour my forehead. I just feel that it blends like my foundation to my scalp a little better because I can get in there. So I'm gonna just do that. So the part that I like go in, that I like go in is my nose. Not that I, I don't think I need to contour it either, but I feel like when you add like shadows and bronziness, it just makes your face, I don't know, it just flatters my face. I guess, so I do this. I like go right here where um, my eyebrows are. You see how I'm like putting like a little shadow there? And then I just kind of, Blend it out, add it to my nose. The little baby wants to come up again. Uh, lay down, you have to lay down. No, lay down. Ouch. Lay down. Good boy. So yeah, I just go back and forth and then I come like also to the corner of my eye, like sh eyeshadow, and then I just like come like to the corner and then I just blend up right here and then down. Kind of just make it all like flowy kind of contour. Um, and then once I like add like bronzer over, it looks like eyeshadow, but then also, I don't know, it just looks like a natural contour. I don't know how to explain it. And I don't know why I started doing this, but ever since I started doing this, I just, it just, it, um, <coughs> excuse me. It photographs so much prettier and then I get so many more compliments like in person like wow like Your makeup looks really good. I'm just like thanks. It's not much, but we'll do You see how it's like kind of making my nose. I don't know how to explain it. It makes my nose sit on my face a little nicer Once I put the foundation it just like brings it back onto my face. It doesn't look so flat And then, of course, I do this. Looks crazy, but I just blend it out. Because I hate my chin. I feel like I have double chin. It's gotten better since I started working out again, but for a minute there, I was like, oh, no, honey. This double chin is horrible. Anyways, but... <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, 
So yeah, I saw Dr. Fauci, you know, not wearing the mask yesterday or the other day, whenever it was that he threw the first pitch. And then I was like also reading, it was, it was, a, it was on Reddit, but it was a screenshot from Facebook. So I know that's not, you know, a valid source, a reliable source, blah, blah, blah. But I will say that the Facebook, whose Facebook it was, was a doctor. So or a scientist or, or something. And they were talking about how like, wearing cloth masks is not good for us. Like, um, that, so we're, we have this cloth mask on and we're breathing out. And when we exhale, we exhale carbon dioxide. So we're exhaling carbon dioxide into the fabric and it's, the particles are getting stuck in there. And not only that, but our, our breath is moist. Our breath is hot and warm. And it's we're breathing into this fabric and within the span of like eight hours, there's mold already growing on the fabric. Mildew and mold. So then, take it off, we're at home, it's sitting. Within eight hours, it starts growing. Some people don't leave their house for 24, 48 hours. Put the same mask on. Imagine how much mildew is grown on that. Then you go out in public, you're breathing again, you're breathing it in, you're breathing in all the mold, you're breathing in all the mildew, and you start getting a cough or you start getting a sore throat. Hello, it's because you have mold in your lungs now from the mask. That's just what the guy said, and to me it made sense. To me, I'm just like, that makes, you know, total sense. I would not doubt that that's happening. I wish I had a microscope and could look at my cloth mask to see if there's mildew on it. And then like ever since I saw that, I was like, mm -mm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere if I have to wear a mask. Because I'm not putting mold in my lungs. I feel like that's worse than getting corona. That might be sound insensitive to people, but... I don't know. I feel like if I were to get corona, I am young. I don't have inter un any underlying conditions. My immune system's pretty strong and I would survive. Like I quarantine and make sure I don't infect anybody and feel like shit for a little bit and then be fine. Other than getting um, mold in my lungs and then like getting really sick. I don't know. I just feel like that's to me sounds a little more unpleasant. Oh, so right now I just put um, KKW concealer in um, shade six and I let that sit for a little bit because I'm gonna um, do my brows and I like for it to dry just a little bit. So yeah, that's just where I'm at with the whole like mask situation. And then just, I don't know, I just feel like everybody's true colors and character has really jumped out with the whole corona, not a, like the coronavirus alone, but also like the Black Lives Matter movement and the presidential election. I'm just like, damn, like people really... I don't know, you just see their true colors. But anyways, like I'll just stick to the coronavirus thing. But um, it just really showed me like how judgy people are, you know? I don't, if, I don't know. Like people just like roasting other people for not wearing a mask when they're hanging out with their friends or um, not, quarantining and getting curbside like why are you shopping in the store you know you can get curbside first of all curbside is an extra like four dollars if i believe at least at heb at the heb by me it was another an extra four dollars like why am i gonna spend four dollars more if i could just walk in and get it myself i don't know and then they're just like how dare you you don't care about people blah 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 and it's just like i'm sorry call me selfish but i don't want to risk my mental health and my like livelihood because of this i don't want to live in fear that's my whole thing is like i sorry i don't want to live in fear i'm being careful i'm taking care of myself i'm making sure to wear a mask when i need to wear a mask 
but I'm not gonna be at home sitting on my couch <laughs> wearing a mask and policing other people who aren't wearing a mask. To me, it's just like, what are you doing? Whatever. Hunter, stop it. So. That's just where I'm at with that. So I don't like to go too crazy with my brows. Um, I'm just gonna blend this off now. I don't know, I just feel like there's been a lot of crazy stuff going on like this whole year. It's just been like one thing after another. It was Kobe, then it was coronavirus. I don't know and then now like the whole like Kanye thing he's supposed to drop an album today that's what we're all waiting for you know I hope he's okay but I think he's fine is that weird like I everyone's like how can you say he's okay have you seen what he's been saying in the media have you seen his tweets like yeah actually I have seen everything um and yes I do think he's okay I think he's fine I don't even if he is, ha like, say he is having an episode, right? I don't think that invalidates anything that he says, either on Twitter, about his wife, about his family. Um, I just don't see how that invalidates it. Like, okay, maybe he is manic. Um, maybe he's having a manic episode. Maybe he is off his meds because he said that before. He said... He gets off his meds when he's making an album because when he's on his meds, he feels less creative. And a lot of people with mental illness say that about their medication, that it makes them feel less creative. It makes them feel, you know, less than themselves. So even if he is having what uh, an episode, why don't, why are we making that, turning that into him being a liar or to him being crazy it's like no honestly I believe that Chris Jenner is you know a dictator <laughs> Chris John Ung but whatever I'm waiting for this album to drop so he can get the real tea because you know he says whatever he wants and his well he says whatever he wants regardless but he really says whatever he wants in his music and then like the whole like taylor swift dropping the same day i'm like that's too obvious girl like please and then i just kind of marry everything together with this brush because it has like foundation probably Permanently on there. Drag it a little down. I have to be sure not to cover this because I did yesterday and it looked so tacky. <laughs> um, so now what I'm gonna do is fix my eyebrows a little bit. I wanna shape them a little more. know what is like PC anymore because I'm just thinking about this video and like if I'm gonna upload it because the stuff I'm saying I'm like someone's gonna be mad regardless <laughs> you know because my whole thing with like this channel or whatever I wanted to try to edit as least as possible and it's weird because whenever I'm watching videos I appreciate people's editing skills so much like I love watching people's videos that are edited really really good or edited funny or they just you know they put thought and time into editing but then i think about other types of videos that i like to watch i like to watch trisha paytas which is so random but i love her style of like just sitting down and talking to the camera and it's just one long stream of consciousness and you can tell she just records it and puts it up 
she doesn't rewatch it, she doesn't edit it, and nothing. She just records and uploads, and I'm like, you know, there's something very free about that. There's something very, um, I don't know, inspiring about that. I'm trying to be more like that. I'm, I'm really good at that on, like, Instagram. Like, just, if I take a picture and I like it, I post it. I don't, like, edit it or, like, think too much about it. Or if I see something I want to share, I just share it. I don't, like, you know think myself out of doing something I want to do on Instagram. So I want to try to take that same sentiment into YouTube. And I know like using Trisha Paytas is kind of a weird example because her style has gotten her into trouble. Like she uploads something and then doesn't like watch it back or doesn't really like think about what she's putting out and then it causes controversy. But at the same time, it's like, dude, still lives her life, you know? She does what she wants, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. She's definitely not living in fear. And I don't wanna be either, so. Yeah, I'm gonna practice more of like, um, just having less like, quiet gaps in my video or you know being more prepared when I hit record things like that so that when I do hit record it's a nice flow of content you know what I mean so that's what I'm looking like right now let's put you right here so that's what I'm looking like I'm not liking this right here I think it's just the angle. I'll blend it out with my um, brush, but yeah. Can you just tell the difference of the lighting from like right here to like in front of me? It's just so different. So yesterday I set my face with powder and I didn't really like the way it looked. So, I mean, I didn't mind it, but then like after a while, it just start, kind of look, started looking cakey. So I'm only gonna set like directly under my eyes and leave my face how it is. We'll see how that goes. So I use, um, surprisingly use Kylie Cosmetics. Um, I have two, I have soft pink and then I have translucent. So I actually love, um, oh, oh no, I could do it right now. I actually love um, the soft pink powder. Cash, be careful. Be careful, Cash. I love the soft pink powder um, for whenever I have darkness under my eyes because it really helps to like brighten and cancel out that. But I don't really have darkness. So I'm just gonna go in with the translucent one directly under. That's kind of crazy. And then just blend it out. Uh, I'm not gonna set my whole face out, cash your nails. My dog is like super attached to me. I can't go into a room without him, you know, following. So now um, I'm gonna go in with bronzer. I use this Fenty um, blending brush, Fenty 210, got it at Sephora. I just love the shape of this, it's perfect. It's, um, it's just perfect, I thought it'd be perfect for eyeshadow and I also use it. <laughs> Bitch. If I broke my bronzer, I'm sick. It didn't break. So I used chocolate, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in the color. I have no idea because it's so freaking old. It doesn't have the color on here, but pretty sure it's the second darkest one. So what I do with this is I go in over this, I like I'm putting eyeshadow, but I just use bronzer and I just do it where I put like that contour 
right in the corner of my eye. Right there, and it like sets the contour and also adds like a little more shadow to my eye. You know what I mean? Gosh, you're gonna fall. So now I'm gonna like do it right here in the corners where I did that um, contour and then just like drag it down my nose just so it like blends. I don't know why I've been like obsessed with this like bringing my eyes into my nose. I just feel like it like really flatters my face. Uh, my face shape. And then um, I get this brush by Morphe, Morphe E4. It's like slanted, fluffy brush and just dust it on my cheeks. So the fact that I didn't set my face with any powder, this helps. It's like kind of setting the stuff with a powder but not like a thick powder so it's not gonna look cakey just set my forehead area like that and then I'm just going in my chin and I also haven't been wearing highlighter either, just because I don't like the look of highlighter. I like just... So yeah, I'm basically done. Um, what was the last thing? What is something that I do? Oh, um, I darken my... Little moles. So I don't like to cover them with makeup. And then I just do my lips. I'm just gonna put lip gloss on. No, I'm not, because I put lip gloss on yesterday and uh, then I had to wear a mask. So I was really annoyed by that. So I'm just gonna put some lip liner. This is MAC Strip Down. basically the color of my lips and then I had chapstick on under so yeah that's basically it now I'm gonna go do my hair and then put my jewelry on I might actually wear glasses today because I've been feeling like I'm blind when I'm out in the world so I might wear these I might not I don't know Catch you guys later. <laughs> this is how it came out. Lighting kind of sucks on my on the phone. In real life, it's good, but. <laughs>